Uh, hello, and welcome to my video on creating a testbed environment using Fedora Core 12 for whatever project you are working on. Uh, very first thing that you're going to need to do is, um, for whatever your host system is, be it Windows, uh, Mac OS X, which is the one that I'm going to be using today, you need to go to virtualbox.org and download the VirtualBox binary. Uh, you just click the link over here. Uh, then you're also going to need to go and download the Fedora Core 12 or Fedora 12 Desktop Edition installable live CD. So you go to the Fedora project, you come here, you click the download now button, and that'll download a ISO for you. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to open up the VirtualBox DMG file or whatever installer you have for your operating system. and you're going to install it. Okay, once your installation is complete, you can go ahead and hit close, and then you can go to your applications folder, and you can launch VirtualBox. All right, once it pops up, uh, you're going to be pretty much staring at the same screen regardless of the operating system that you're using. So we are going to close out the VirtualBox registration dialog. We don't really care about it. And then you should be looking at this screen right here. Uh, very first thing we're going to need to do is create a new box. So hit new right here. And we're just going to really quickly go through the options. Operating system is going to be Linux. Version is going to be Fedora, not the 64-bit. Uh, I recommend having a base memory size of about 512 megs. Doesn't really matter, you're not going to use too much. Uh, we're going to create a new hard disk. Use dynamically expanding storage. And then I recommend putting something here like 12 gigs. Honestly, the amount that you put here doesn't matter because it's since it's dynamically expanding, you're only going to use up to 12 gigs. But uh, So you could put more, you could put less. Uh, once you're done with all that, and you've clicked through to here, you're going to be staring at this screen. You're going to need to choose Fedora, hit Settings, go to Storage. On Windows, this is going to be over to the left. And then uh, you'll see right here you have IDE Controller, Fedora.VDI, and then Empty next to the CD-ROM drive. We're going to click this, and then where it says Slot IDE Secondary Master, that's fine, CD, DVD advi or device. We're going to actually click this over here, and it's going to ask us to find a CD DVD image. And again, this is pretty much the same basic thing you're going to see regardless of the operating system you're using VirtualBox on. So makes life a little easier. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to navigate to and select the ISO file that we downloaded from the Fedora website. Hit select. It's going to go ahead and say that it mounts. And then we're going to start our box. It's going to pop up with this message. What this is going to say is, is what your host key is. Uh, this is how you can redirect keyboard and mouse input to the actual box. Uh, regardless of the operating system you're using, the host key is going to be down here in the lower right hand corner. So you can go ahead and push that to, uh, to pop out. All right, once Fedora finishes launching from the CD, you should be presented with a screen that looks like this. If it didn't launch, you're going to need to double check that CD setting that I was talking about to make sure that you select the ISO correctly. Once again, it tells you about redirecting mouse input, and you can see that we now have our mouse redirected inside of this box. If I move over here, you'll see that I can't escape it. So we're gonna log in as live system user, and then the very first thing that we're gonna do once we log in, is we are going to install the ISO file, or the operating system that's on the ISO file, to the hard drive. So you double click install the hard drive. And then we are pretty much going to be using all of the default settings US English, you can use another keyboard if that's appropriate for you. Going to find the storage device, choose reinitialize, localhost.local domain, you can choose the time zone that's appropriate for you. And then all this is going to stay the exact same as it normally would. All 
All right, once your installation is complete, you should get a message that says something like this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit close. And then we are going to shut down the system. Using system shutdown. And once the system shuts down, we're actually going to go back into settings and we're going to unmount the ISO file. All right, so now we can restart the system. And then once it comes up here, we're gonna go ahead and go through the setup steps. And there you have it, an installed Fedora core or Fedora 12 installation.